Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the GVMath shortcode to output the sum of all values in a field uh, from a form in Gravity Forms. So to construct the shortcode, we need two things. The first thing is the form ID, and the second thing is the merge tag for the field that we want to sum. So first, I'll show you how to find the form ID. It's pretty easy, so just hover over Forms and click on Forms. And now you'll see the form ID in the column on the right here, the ID column. So in this case, I want the event registration form, so I'll scroll down, and I can see there it's 37. So you just need to write that down or just remember it. And um, we can move on to the next step, which is to find the merge tag for the field that we want to sum. So to do that, just click Edit on your form. And then you want to hover over Settings at the top and click on Notifications. And then on the Notifications page, click Add New. So we're not actually going to create a new notification. We're just using this as a way to get the merge tag that we need. So if you scroll down uh, to the um, text editor there, and then click on the button on the right, which is the Merge Tag button, and you'll see a list of your fields. So scroll down until you find the field that you want to sum. So in this case, for me, it's the number of attendees. So click on that, and it'll actually add the Merge Tag inside the text editor. So Merge Tags are wrapped in curly braces. Um, so that's the Merge Tag we need. So just you can just copy that by uh, using Control c or Command-C if you're on a Mac. So now we can actually construct our shortcode and add it to a page. Okay, so I've created a page here on my website, and I've got a bit of text here about the event that I'm holding, and I want to display the number of guests that are attending. So I can do this by writing uh, the shortcode directly in the page here. So I'm going to put it right over here and start off with a square bracket and then GVMath. And then the first parameter, which is the scope, and this tells the shortcode where to actually pull the data from. So in this case, it's going to be our form. The next parameter is the ID, which is the ID of our form in Gravity Forms, and we found that was 37. And we can close off the first part there with another square bracket, and then we need to paste in the merge tag that we copied in the previous step. So I'll just paste that in. There we go. And now we need to just close off the rest of the shortcode with another GV math there. Okay, so that's finished. Um, but I want to bold the output, so I'll just highlight that, and I'll just click bold. Okay, so now we just need to update our page, and then we'll just check it out on the front end. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the information about our event there, and then we've got um, the number of guests, so the shortcode has actually been replaced uh, with the number 6 there. So that's perfect, just what we wanted. So if you want to output the sum of a field inside a view, you can do that too. So all you need to do is add the shortcode to a custom content field or widget. Um, so basically, if you have a table layout, for example, fields will display in the table. They correspond to fields in your form, whereas widgets display above or below the table. And they're usually used for adding extra information or uh, navigational purposes. So in this case, we'll add the shortcode to a widget. So just we'll just need to click on this uh, Add Widget button and then select the Custom Content widget. And then to open the Custom Content settings, uh, we'll just click on this um, gear icon and you can see the text editor here. So now we can actually just paste in our shortcode, the exact same shortcode we used in the previous step. And I'll add a little bit of uh, text here. So for example, the number of uh, attendees is. 
And then I want to actually bold the output again. So we can do this by just using some HTML. So we can just use the HTML strong tag. Okay, and that's that's done. So to save, just click outside of the editor and then we'll update the view. So let's have a look at what that looks like on the front end. Okay, so perfect. You can, as you can see, the shortcode has been replaced again by the number of attendees.